Hello everyone. Development of Judiciary in British India. In the India of pre-colonial times, in the Mughal era or even prior to that, including the ancient period, the judicial system as a whole neither adopted proper procedures nor had proper organization of the law courts in a regular gradation from the highest to the lowest nor had any proper distribution of courts in proportion to the area to be served by them. The bulk of the litigation among the Hindus was decided by caste elders or village panchayats or zamindars. For Muslims, the unit of judicial administration was the quasi and office held by religious persons located in provincial capitals, towns and kwasbas, large villages. The Rajas and Bachas were considered as the fountainhead of justice and the process of dispensing justice could be arbitrary. The beginning of a common law system based on recorded judicial precedents can be traced to the establishment of mayor's courts in Madras, Bombay, Calcutta in 1726 by the East India Company. With the company's transformation from a trading company into a ruling power, new elements of judicial system replaced the existing Mughal legal system. A brief survey of those changes had, uh, had has been discussed below. Reforms under Warren Hastings, 1772-1805. District Jivani Adalats were established in districts to try civil disputes. These Adalats were placed under the collector and had Hindu law applicable for Hindus and the Muslim law for Muslims. The appeal for, from District Jivani Adalats lay to the Sadar Jivani Adalat which functioned under a president and two members of the Supreme Council. District Fausdari Adalats were set up to try criminal disputes and were placed under an Indian officer assisted by Kwasis and Muftis. These Adalats also were under the general supervision of the collector. Muslim law was administered in Fausdari Adalats. The approval for capital punishment and for acquisition of property lay to the Sadar Nizamat Adalat at Murshidabad which was headed by a deputy Nizam and Indian Muslim assisted by Chief Kwasi and Chief Mufti. Under the Regulating Act of 1773, a Supreme Court was established at Calcutta which was competent to try all British subjects within Calcutta and the subordinate factories including Indians and Europeans. It had original and appellate jurisdictions. Often the jurisdiction of the Supreme Court clashed with that of other courts. Reforms under Cornwallis 1786-93 Separation of Powers The district Fausdari courts were abolished and instead circuit courts were established at Calcutta, Dhaka, Murshidabad and Patna. These circuit courts had European judges and were to act as courts of appeal for both civil and criminal cases. The Sadar Nizamat Adalat was shifted to Calcutta and was put under the Governor General and members of the Supreme Council assisted by the Chief Quasi and the Chief Mufti. The district Divani Adalat was now designated as the district city or the Zilla Court and placed under a district judge. The collector was now responsible only for the revenue administration with no magisterial functions. A gradation of civil courts was established for both Hindu and Muslim laws. Munsit's court under Indian officers. Registrar's courts under European officers, European judge. Registrar's court under European judge. District court under the district judge. Four circuit courts as provincial courts of appeal. Sadar Diwani Adalat at Calcutta and King in Council for appeals of £5,000 and above. The Cornwallis Court was laid out. There was a separation of revenue and justice administration. European subjects were also brought under jurisdiction. Government officials were answerable to the civil courts for actions done in their 
official capacity. The principle of sovereignty of law was established. Reforms under William Bentinck, 1828-33. The four circuit courts were abolished and their functions transferred to collectors under the supervision of the Commissioner of Revenue and Circuit. Sadar Diwani Adalat and Sadar Nizamat Adalat were set up at Allahabad for the convenience of the people of upper provinces. Till now, Persian was the official language in courts. Now the suitor had the option to use Persian or a vernacular language while in the Supreme Court, English language replaced Persian. 1833. A law commission was set up under Macaulay for codification of Indian laws. As a result, a Civil Procedure Code 1859, an Indian Penal Code 1860 and a Criminal Procedure Code 1861 were prepared. Like, share and subscribe to support the channel. Thank you. Bye.